it on Weeks pass in the blink of an eye And I'm still drunk at the end of the night I don't drink like everybody else I do it to forget things about Hi guys, so this is my homecoming uh, makeup, hair, and outfit tutorial video And I really hope that this helps you out Or gives you inspiration for like How you're gonna look on homecoming So yeah, for all you high schoolers out there And I'm gonna try to make this a pretty quick intro Oh my gosh guys, so this is my homecoming tutorial and first, I'm just taking my rack daily resurfacing discs, and I do not do it for the wrinkle purposes. I do it just for like exfoliation because they give a really deep clean. And I'm just massaging that all over my face, and then I'm gonna rinse it off here and pat my face dry. So then I'm taking my moisturizer and I'm using Clinique, dramatically different one I always use, and just putting that all over my face so my makeup looks even better and I don't break out. And then I'm taking some acne spot treatment just to make sure I don't break out because of oil reasons, not because I, my oil, you know, produces too much. So yeah. Just to prevent my acne because I have super oily skin. And then I'm just going to take some Vaseline on my lips because it's so moisturizing and amazing. Then I'm just kind of touching up on my brows because before like homecoming you want your pictures and stuff to look good. And you want your hairs to be gone and such. So yeah. So now I'm starting with the hair and what I'm doing here is just uh, taking the, I'm twisting my hair and I'm taking it, the piece from the front, I'm adding hair to it and putting it to the back, only the piece from the front, and I'm just alternating. So, just like I'm doing here. And then I actually add a piece and just start braiding it to the bottom. And I secure it with an elastic when I am done. And I'm singing. That's embarrassing. So yeah, I'm just securing that with an elastic. Yep, yep, there it is. And then I'm just going to kind of pull the braid apart a little bit to give it a little bit messier look and to frame my face a bit better. And I'm just going to do the same little twisty thing I did to the other side. So as you can see, I'm taking the front piece and grabbing hair and then taking it over in a twist. And I'm taking a piece and braiding it down with the other two pieces that I was twisting with. And then I am just going to continue braiding it down until I'm all the way to the bottom and tie it with an elastic. And just pull that apart. And then I'm taking a section, and you want the section to be behind your twist. And you're just going to make a fishtail braid. And I have to warn you that if you take a big section, it'll actually look pretty small in the end. So there, I'm done, and I just tied it with a little elastic at the end, and it's pretty small but you can still see it. I'm going to do the exact same thing to the other side. So you're going to have like matching things there and it kind of looks like you have dreadlocks. Yeah so as you see I'm just creating that fish tail. If you don't know how to do one of those there are tons of videos on YouTube for that. Okay so once I've done both of those I'm taking my hair to the right side of my head near the bottom and you want your hair to be behind your ears and I'm just tying it in a little ponytail. Alright, so you know how you can put your hair through there and make it like a twist downward? You're actually going to do it the opposite way. So you're going to twist it upward like that and it's going to like stick up a little bit and look a little funky. So I'm not leaving it like that. 
we're going to braid it. And just try to braid it all the way down to the end. You actually don't have to secure the end. So you're just going to take another hairband and just bunch it up and put it and just like make like a messy bun and then tuck it in. And it doesn't have to be like perfect or anything. Just tuck it in there and you have like a really elegant hairstyle. And that's the finished look. You can't see the detailing too well because it's kind of dark out. So now I'm here with my makeup and I'm priming my face because you definitely want to stay on all night when you're dancing and stuff. So you gotta make sure you prime. Now I'm taking my Revlon BB Cream and it has really great coverage so I decided to use it. And yeah, and I'm just putting a little more on the areas that have redness or are imperfect. So they look perfect for the photos. And I'm just going to distribute that with a makeup sponge, which is usually the best way to apply baby BB cream because of its thickness. And now I'm taking some pressed powder and I'm actually using kind of a lot just so I set that and it doesn't slip and slide all over my face. So I'm taking my um, eyelid primer and just putting that over my lids, working it up and under my eyes as well. A little bit. Now I'm curling my lashes. Gotta curl those lashes, you know. And I'm just going to use two mascaras here. So first I'm using my Maybelline Falsies, and the reason I'm using two is because the Falsies tends to clump if you put a lot of coats on it, so yeah, I'm just putting that on first, and then using my Dare Real Mascara to add even more length. Now I'm taking uh, some brown eyeshadow and just lining my eyes, and I had to do it in front of the mirror. And then I'm going to line it the bottom of my eyes the same way. So, yeah. Now I'm taking a white eyeshadow to highlight the inner corners of my eyes. The huge. And I'm just covering my eyes with the same white shadow. And just blend in that real well. Now I'm taking a taupe color and putting that on the crease and outer corner of my eyes. Blending that in. And it creates a really amazing natural eye look. And it looks really great in photos. So you kind of just go with the natural contours of your face. Now I'm just going under my eye with a like aqua colored eyeshadow, kind of lining it, and now I'm highlighting everything, brow bones, then down my nose, my cupid's bow, my chin, and my forehead. I'm just going to blend that out with a big brush, so it looks good, not all weird. So now I'm just bronzing my face, because I'm so pale. And then I'm using blush there, so I look like I have some color in photos. And I'm just using sort of like a neutral pinky color. Since my eyes do have some color, I'm using like a medium to light colored lip. And then I'm putting some gloss on top of that. Just for some shine. And that's the finished makeup and hair. So basically this is the dress that I'm wearing right here. So it was pretty inexpensive. It was like on sale at JCPenney. It just has like a tool layer and then like the satin blue underneath. And my theme uh, for my school is actually under the sea. So I thought this looked pretty under the sea. And just here is a quick look at my makeup. So... Yeah, and then that's my hair.